Okay, so let's talk about these two bacteria. MRSA, gram positive or negative? Positive. So MRSA is gram positive, so can it grow on a MSA? Yes. 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 What about Pseudomonas? Negative. Pseudomonas is gram negative, so can it grow? No. no. So technically, these wouldn't even exist. Nothing would grow over there because selective, it killed the Pseudomonas. Well, it didn't kill it because it was never really there in the first place. It suppressed the growth. Is that okay? But is it like it's because the gram positive bacteria can can um, tolerate the salt? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So gram positive, for the most part, have the capabilities to tolerate the high salt concentrations, whereas gram negative doesn't. So because of that, the gram negative, you can streak them on here, but they won't grow because they're inhibited by the high salt. Whereas the gram positive, they don't care. So they start growing. Does he want to say no? It's also, it's also differential. What's the definition of a differential media again? Yeah, I want to be able to see a difference. It doesn't necessarily, like let's say I had two gram positive bacteria on here, okay? Now, I'm going to let, obviously they can both grow because they're gram positive. They're not inhibited by the salt. But what have we not talked about up here yet? The mantle, right? So guess what makes this differential? The mantle. So anytime it's mantel salt, they go, it's always differential and selected? Yes, always. And that will definitely be a question on the test. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> like, I can promise that one. Okay? Now, what exactly about the mantle makes it differential? Um, only some what you bacteria say? ferment. Yes, yeah, some bacteria can <laughs> ferment or digest or eat, whatever you want to say. Mantle, whereas some can't. Okay? Now, I don't know how much biology you have, but if something ferments mannitol, what does it produce as a byproduct? Acid. Acid, okay. So does MRSA, do these bacteria have the enzymes to ferment mannitol? Mm -hmm. Yes. So they're going to, right? If they have it, they're going to do it. So they have the enzyme to ferment mannitol. Where are they going to be producing while they ferment it? What do you mean? Like, they ferment the mantle, and what's that byproduct again? Acid. Acid. So what happens to the pH of this side of the plate? Goes down. The pH goes down, becomes more acidic. Okay? Why is that important? Because the color, it causes the color change if it's more acidic. Yeah. So there is something in there called a pH indicator. Okay? So to the plate, not only do we have the agar, the salt, and the mantle, but we also have a pH indicator. What color is this plate before, before I do anything? It's red, okay? Now a pH indicator, when it sees the plate get more acidic, what color does it change the plate to? Yellow. Yellow. So is this side of the plate becoming more acidic? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's creating acid. It's creating acid because it's no. fermenting the mannitol, right? So, because, I'm trying to like get all the steps in here, because the MRSA have the enzymes to ferment mantel, they're going to ferment mantel. Yeah? Are we just supposed to, like if he throws anything in there, are we, are we just... It has the enzyme to ferment mantel. It's going to ferment the mantel. When it ferments the mantel, it produces acid. The acid makes the pH on that side of the plate go down, which means the pH indicator turns this side of the plate yellow. Did all those steps make sense? <coughs> Do you remember what the name of the pH indicator is? But um, so they have to put in the agar and the mannitol salt, and they have to put the pH. It indicator comes in. all with it. <laughs> so the only thing you're actually adding is, is the, the bacteria. Is the bacteria. Yeah. Is it Y-L or just L? Do you it's just it? Okay. Now, what about if I had bacterial colonies on the plate, but the plate wasn't yellow? What would that tell you about the bacteria? That it couldn't. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. did grow on the plate. Oh, oh, yeah. it couldn't it ferment it mantle. But it is. Mm -hmm. Not it's gram positive because it grew in the first place, right. right? But since it didn't turn yellow, that means it's gram positive, but it doesn't have the enzymes yeah, to ferment exactly. mantle. Because that because it didn't turn yellow, that means there was no pH change, which means it wasn't fermenting the mantle. So if he says it grew but it didn't turn yellow, then we know, okay, it did grow, so it can, it like likes the salt, like it can... It can tolerate it, yeah, because if it grew, it didn't care about the salt, which means it's most likely gram positive. 
But then if it wasn't yellow, then it means that it can't uh, ferment the sugar. Yeah, if it has the enzyme to ferment mantle, it will turn yellow. And then you have to know why, remember, because acid's a byproduct, changes the pH of the plate, the phenol red turns it yellow. Now, if nothing grew in the first place, what do you know about it? It's gram negative. Okay, did all that make sense? I'm like repeating myself on purpose because I want to make sure it's in. Yeah. I'm, I'm just wondering about, like, so if the MRSA doesn't um, digest or become, like, acidic, you said that it still can be MRSA? Not necessarily MRSA. MRSA will not only grow on there, but it has the enzyme, so it will always ferment mantle. But if I put a gram-positive bacteria on here that doesn't ferment mantle, it doesn't eat sugar, then it could still grow, but it would, it would stay red. Okay. It would never turn yellow because if you're not digesting the sugar, you're not producing acid, which means the pH isn't changing. Okay. And the pH changes what makes it turn yellow. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. So like since we already learned about more study, like on the test, what if we had like on influenza? No. No, you cannot do Fine. this on any virus, the right? Virus. Because are there any host cells? No. no. And do the, the viruses produce enzymes in the first place? No. no. And what is this checking? Enzymes. 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 Which means what kind of test is it? Uh, uh, biochemical. Chemical. So it's a selective and differential media, and it's a biochemical test. So viral tests can never be biochemical? No. Okay. Because production <coughs> of right. enzyme, right? Now we talked about like negative RNA that has that packaged enzyme. And that's why if you just remember enzyme, you're like, oh, well, negative RNA and retroviruses, you can do it, right? But production of an right. enzyme. Did I explain that better than last yeah. night? Yeah. <laughs> that was like my first time explaining it in a while last night, and there were so many people, and I was flustered. But does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did I answer any questions? Do you have any more? It's kind of cool, right? You'll do it in your class if you're in the lab. There's another one called McConkey, and it's kind of like this, but the opposite. Does this have to do with acid fast? No. no. That's kind That's of safe. Different. Yeah. Okay. Do we really need to even know acid fast? If there were, was one thing I want you to know, tuberculosis, when you learn about that in, the in like a disease presentation, you definitely need to know acid fast. For now, no. Some bacteria, like tuberculosis, have this waxy acid surrounding it, and it makes it so that you can't gram stain it. So what you do is an acid fast stain, which is pretty much like hardcore staining it. Now, if something is positive for acid fast, which means it has to be acid fast stained, mm -hmm. then the bacteria will turn red and the background will be blue. If something is negative for acid fast, which means it doesn't need to be acid fast stained, you can just do like a gram stain then the bacteria will be blue, the background red. So think positive for acid fast, which one sounds more acidic, blue or red? Red. So if it's positive for acid fast, the bacteria will be red, background blue. So if it's blue, then you can do a gram stain on it. Most likely, okay. yeah. I don't know a ton about the acid fast, but that's what I got from it. Oh. But you said that was for later tests? For later yeah, because okay. you're going to have someone present on tuberculosis, and then, because then he'll ask you, is gra tuberculosis gram positive or negative? And it's neither, because we can't gram stain it. Okay. That's a tricky, tricky one that he'll bring with you. Tricky, tricky. Good?